welcome friends in our youtube channel industrial automation knowledge bank in previous lesson you learned about the motor forward reverse plc programming and also start delta starter programming if you are new member in our channel so link is also available in description so you can get uh, more information from there in this video you will learn about the how to use move instruction and its application in msvc plc by using gxworks 2 so first uh, from the starting we will start from the move instruction then move p instruction then d move instruction then d move p instruction i will tell you about step by step about its application how to make the programming gxworks 2 so start with the move instruction so you can uh, uh, understand uh, what is the meaning of uh, move move means let's come into this slide so you can see this is our command when command will come then uh, command will come this is our source this is our source and this is our destination so when command command will come then source value will move to destination okay it mean, means if source if any any data available in in source when command will come then the value move towards to destination so uh, let's come in the software and i i will give an example what is that application and uh, how to use in the softwares So come into the desktop. So take it new project. I'm using JSOX2 uh, software. So in previous lesson, I have already told you how to write the write the program in the this this software, and also about the comments how to write down. So just press the shift enter for uh, making the space. So I'm taking here one pulse. Any pulse you can take. So take pulse M0 for as input. This is internal bits. And uh, take right here, move. And take any data register. Take any value. It means integer. You can, if you are taking integer value, then select value from the here. And write down anything you, you want. If I want to move the 10 value in any data register, 300. So, this is the instruction for the move A10 and D D100. So, this is our this is our K10 means this is our uh, value when command will come. Then this source value will move in on destination. So I'm taking here again M1 and move A20 D 100 
one again again m2 and move k30 d102 m3 move k40 d103 m4 move d104 move a40 a50 d104 so i have taken here to four, uh, five internal bits four internal bits five internal bits m0 m1 m2 m3 m4 and here i am using move instruction i am discuss is about only move instruction not move p move p i will uh, discuss later so please uh, think about this move move means uh, this value will move on the 100 day 100 is your data is, uh, storage uh, register okay so i am going to compile this one i already told you is compile compile button okay so uh, if we mm, i am going to going to in simulation mode just click here So when uh, M0 will come on, then value automatically move in the end. See here. When I M1 will come, then this value move in 20 in 101. same m3 will getting on and then 40 move in 103 m4 50 more move in okay again uh, we want to research if this value in uh, data store uh, if we uh, we need uh, to restart this value reset to this values so just uh, exit from the two, four edit the program and just click here m5 you can take any input and i want to move a0 in D hundred move A zero in D one zero one him like this. A0 and T0 2 1 0 2 move A0 D103 move A0 D104 So by doing this, uh, we can move zero value in the uh, each uh, data register, and uh, in this uh, move instruction, we can uh, do in step to step. And uh, if we use uh, another application, I will tell you next uh, in topic uh, how we can use uh, only one in one line instruction to move the zero and uh, only single line. So then uh, convert this one.
and go to the simulation mode you can also watch the value device buffer currently here value is 0 so I am just pressing M0 so you can see here value move and then you can also see here M3 M4 so this uh, value move on data register here you can see 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50 so this uh, when F M5 pulse will M5 uh, contact will on so just uh, see all value getting zero. Okay, you have seen here. Yeah. This becomes zero. So this is a basic uh, application of the M uh, pull move move command. And and in another hand, you can also uh, move data. Just press the F two for again uh, return. You can also move. Uh, if I'm using M6. You can also move the data register to data register. If you want to move the D10, one value in D102. This is also possible. So let's uh, see how. Convert this one and go to the simulation mode so I am using here two data register here source is our, so our source is 101 and destination is 102 so if I push this input so one source 1 this 20 value move in 101 Here. When M6 will come, then 101 value also move in 102. Watch here. Okay. So, guys, uh, I think uh, you uh, understand how to use uh, the use uh, move instruction. In next video, I will tell you about the what is the difference between move instruction and move P instruction and then I will discuss dmove and uh, then dmove p after that uh, we will discuss about the move dmove and fill move so I am requesting to you if uh, you are a new member in our youtube channel so please kindly subscribe my channel and press the like button if you like our video thank you so much